Well, it's a cold and rainy day today, but that didn't stop people in Bemidji from coming together to celebrate the completion of a new work of art. Here is Catherine Silver with our In Focus this week. After four weeks of work, the gray buildings of the wastewater treatment facility have transformed from this into this. This one, to me, I feel is monumental for not only the Bemidji area, but also what goes on around here. Local artist Wesley May's finished mural is breathing new life into the Bemidji community. It goes from the drop of water to an eagle protecting it. Just the same way as when you get down in a mural more, there's two people holding each other. And then with any loving relationship, you want to protect it, you want to respect it, you want to honor it, and you want to give thanks for it. May's piece is called Protect, Honor, Give Thanks for Water, and it uses nature to symbolize loving relationships and highlight the facility's function. When you think about it, you know, it's not just a place where, oh, they just, they just boil water and put it back. You know, what they do is take care of it so that we can use it again. The finished mural is 56 feet by 30 feet, and May says he painted the entire thing completely freehand. I just took, looked at the, at the drawing and put it on the wall. Rather than try to scale or try to do all of that, I just looked right at the picture. But the piece wasn't just an opportunity to sharpen his skills. May also used the process to teach and inspire new artists. I learned a lot about everything, not just from painting, but to be emotionally ready and, you know, be free. I got, I got teared up after we finished and it was just a wonderful experience and I loved it. And May hopes that the community finds that same love when they drive by and see the finished piece. And when it gets deeper, that's when it's, it's fun. That's when it be, people will become part of it and they'll feel it, the truth that is in that painting. And I think it's going to contribute a great deal to the feeling of uh, art and, and the beauty of our area. And when people drive by, they'll look at it and they'll see it and it will become a part of our our whole way of life. So that this creation is just a new step to continue growing the city's arts community. For this week's In Focus, Katherine Silver, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.